Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda, yeah. I wanted to, I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. Brett, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean like we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, oh, uh, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um... No, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying.
That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. I was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look. For all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? <sighs> We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. I'm almost done with these. Cool. This doesn't look kosher. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I've dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Huh. 
What am I looking at here? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zinc. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Look no further. You just don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? I know the way to I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? All right, nope. kids. Good to go. Just remember You're the on rules, camera. I'll please. take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, why not?
pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Why do I keep these around? Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. What's that about? They're like, coming right over to us. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay?
guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? <laughs> Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. <laughs> I mean, can you... Oh. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? No, bad idea. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go for it. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base they were on their way to help out a ship down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. 
Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharp, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. 
Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. 